Want to know the Excel trick I use every day that makes my work so much easier? In this video, I'll show to you the format as a table. Yes, I know that it's a basic tool, but it can transform your spreadsheet with these three tips I will share, making them more organized, professional, and easier to use. If you are not using this amazing resource yet, you are wasting your time. So let's start with the first tip. How can we transform a cell range in a table? You're going to select the range that we want, go to insert, and clicking on table. Then if our table has headers, we should flag this option here. My table has headers. As you can see, automatically the range was converted to a table. If we click in this table, we can go to table design up here and choose from a variety of styles the one that suits us best. I'm gonna with this purple here. The second tip that I'm going to show to you is insert slicers to give a better way to filter our table. I'm going to click here in table design and go to insert slicer. And I'm going to choose the field that I want to use. I want to use team as a filter. And I go click on OK. As you can see here, it created a slicer that will filter our table. We can put a different style. Let's put uh, one that is similar to the one that we are using here. Let me just resize it. And here it is. As you can see now, if I click, it will show me only the 18 or now the bay team and to give a more professional look we can disable this filter here on the table we just go to table design and filter button off now only this slicer will filter our table don't you agree that's much more cool to present a slicer like that to the final user of your spreadsheet. It's much more professional. To give a wow effect on the, the spreadsheet. Okay. And the last tip will be to put a total row in our table. We're just going to go again in table design and click on total row. As you can see, automatically it will create the total row in the last column of our table. If we click in a specific cell, we can edit that total. Here it's just counting the amount of rows that we have in this column. But here we have sales. If we want uh, the total sales, I'm going to click on the specific cell, go here. And choose from a variety of options. And I want sum. Automatically will give me the sum. Here is just a name. Uh, we don't need to have a total here. Also, here, I'm going to delete it because it's just the amount of uh, just a column of uh, team. Now, if we click on the filter, the total will respect this filter. Pretty cool, right? So with these tips, you can give a more professional style to our spreadsheets and impress your colleagues and coworkers. Did you enjoy these three tips that I showed to you today? Now you know how to format as a table can transform the way you organize and analyze your data. If you like this content, Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell.
to keep receiving more tips like this one. And if you want to take your skills even further and become an Excel master, I have the perfect ebook for you. It will help you master all the features Excel has to offer. And for those also interested in Power BI, there's a not amazing book to take your analytics to the next level. Their links are in the description below. Don't mind my cat here. <laughs> okay, guys, I see you there on the next video.